Oh, this guy's name is Adapt. Yo, 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 hold on, hold on. But his name is Adapt, so let's see how good he adapts. I want to see this guy adapt to my gameplay. Let's see him adapt, yo. Let's, you ready? You ready to see this guy adapt? Oh, just adapt. Who? Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is Armodillo? Professional Smash player? Why am I not surprised? Oh, just adapt. Oh, look at him wave bouncing his side bees. Good job, adapt. Just adapt. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Who cares? I I literally beat tournament players every stream. This is the norm. Monica just call me out. Says, pro. Top player, top five player, best in their region, best in their. It doesn't matter. Every stream is the same thing, bro. Playing pro players and playing like sweaty nerds in their like in their own room, like it's the same to me. It feels exactly the same. Just like when I beat Elegant, when I beat DK, well, DK will rage quit, but I, I legitimately two-stocked Elegant the other day. N three stock Nario, three stock Peanut. Bro, it's every stream. No one cares. Why do you think all those pros got my main blocked? You don't think you don't think it's a coincidence that like I have the highest GSP and I can't get matched up with Nario, who also has the highest GSP? Yeah. But that's why I get blocked by the pros, because they have like a like a Bunch of people watching them who they would be like exposed in front of. Just like DK Will making excuses like, oh, I'm gonna block this guy because it's laggy. Meanwhile, it really wasn't laggy. Yeah, it doesn't DK Will. I was told that, listen, I didn't even know who he was until like that day, but I was told he lives in New York. And while that doesn't always mean like, oh, better connection, especially with Nintendo, I'm here to tell you that that shit was actually fun. The guy was just. John's dude, he just didn't want to fight my meat because I had within 20 seconds I had put 120% on him and he hadn't landed one move. So that's the reason. Check adapts hours. Well, this was Armadillo, right? Oh my god. Yo, I beat Armadillo who has nine points. <laughs> I beat this guy who has 9,000 hours, bro. I mean, look, wait, 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 wait. This guy is a pro though, right? Armadillo, the dude who I beat this, whatever. I, is his name Armadillo? Okay, he's a pro. So I can expect this kind of shit from a pro. Like he gets paid for this, right? Like he gets actually paid for this one way or the other, either, either people's mom's credit cards or like getting the like, sponsors. I can understand, I can kind of understand this how many hours, but at the same time, not so much. Like, I don't know. Oh man. Armadillo, bruh. <laughs> 802. <laughs> Yo, last night's stream was wild, man.
Oh, last night's stream, that guy was wild, bro. Some guy coming in here telling Matt, among other things, he told Mad Boy that he had 802 dicks in his mouth. He, as in the the random that was in here, said Matt had 802 dicks in his mouth. It was so weird. But the whole reason that he was saying this and being salty was because I ran into him on For Glory, which was really strange because I didn't have TTV in my name or my burner Discord. So some guy just randomly recognized that I was a, like that the me player was me. Yeah, he tried to flame Matt for no reason. Just because he was mad about Elite Smash. And Matt had nothing to do with anything. Matt was just here laughing at the whole situation. Matt was in my chat just, just saying LOL, LFMAO, whatever. And he was getting so mad. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you like, like you, you weren't even defending me. There was really not much to defend. I wasn't doing anything. We were just like, yo, bro, relax. Smashers are so weird. I don't think Smash players are from Earth, honestly. You, you started asking pretty just simple questions. And that guy refused to answer you because he knew he was about to get clowned on, honestly. that That's the other thing. I, like I said, I didn't have TTV. I didn't have a burner discord. Even if I did have a burner discord, it wouldn't have led me to my stream. Uh, it was weird. It was probably some person who had been here before and recognized and probably had tried to been sniping me for ages. A, like an actual pro. Like maybe it was Nario on, a, on, a, on, a, on his own burner account. On his Switch burner account. What a sad f person. Anyway, it was only like a 10, 15 minute interaction. I didn't even ban the guy. You know, I don't care what they say to me. That's the fun part about it. In this case, I didn't even ban the guy. I just refused to lift a finger. He just kept making himself look worse. Also, I had noticed over the course of a, I don't know, year now, I guess. If, if you ban them from your chat, you're more likely to appear on a Reddit or a Twitter post. Which is kind of like the plan. If people are going to get salty at my stream or some shit, like take it, take it. The more people that keep bringing me up, the more people that do that and make Twitter petitions out of me and Reddit posts and shit, the more they're keeping me relevant. So when I ban them and I've, I wind up in a Twitter post with 20,000 likes, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm like, I'm so happy. That's like the actual point. I love it. I feed off of that shit. And then I go about my life. The next day, I go out, I work, I play handball, I exercise. Like, my, my life goes on, bro. But the Twitter post just keeps getting likes for, for weeks. And I just stay in their heads rent-free for ages. And I love it. All right, so check it out. These... <laughs> Look at these. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know who this is. But, um, check this shit out. So this is, a. Uh... Okay, so, so this is some random, I guess, woman or girl or whatever in, in this other Discord server. It's basically a server where people could just rant and rage about Elite Smash, I guess. No, no, no. Yeah, I got them all saved. So this one's called Moon Lady. And she's like, one and dunning me. I'm so tired of this bullshit. Some, I guess they said the name of the Joker player. The Joker. Hang yourself, homie. I fucking snapped, bro. Just quit the game if you're not going to play with people for who they use. And then, and then here's the, a long rant by her. No, that's it. No more elite. I'm done. You pieces of absolute garbage win one game and leave after I've already won. Kill yourselves. I'm not playing this trash anymore. It was fun. Now, it, now it was fun. Now it isn't. I'll beat someone three times in a row. Then they'll win one off one lucky read and leave. I can't do it, bro. No more. This shit don't. <laughs> this shit didn't used to happen this much. Y'all really got the most massive hate boner for a character that gets spaced out. Meanwhile, Steve is out here placing blocks, playing literal Minecraft with randos, doing well? I sleep. It's all fine and dandy when you hate a character, that's cool. But to go so far as to not play? That's top tier levels of soy boy. I don't know what the fuck that even means. I don't- I-, I you- you kids- you- I don't get it. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. And then she said, quote, I'm sorry, I uh, actually don't like your character, Shall you'll never find any games, and sh the people that do play you will leave immediately, shh, end quote. Like, bro, I complain over and over again, but you know how many times I've denied playing someone over the character? Only a few, uh, and it's only because I already practiced with that character a bunch, and I want variety. You want raw fundamentals to be a thing in Smash? Go start up Brawl again and only play Marth or something. The Robin Kazi on Wi-Fi is my single least favorite matchup, holy fuck. Arc fire, arc fire, arc fire, kill yourself. All of you fucking one and dunning level are aerial mashing dog shit players. From now on, when playing against this character, winning matters not. 
I will never get hit by arc fire unless it's like the last hit or something at ledge. I refuse. And then she said, and this is the grand finale. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I left out one character, me gunner. I know I said, who cares? Cause we all hate me's. And by the way, I digress for a minute to just say this. She just admitted it. She just admitted that everyone in the community hates me. It's like, it's already ingrained. It's like from birth. Like you learn three smashers when they're born are like, it's like in their DNA. It's like how babies know not to breathe underwater. Like you don't have to visit. You don't have to teach them after they learn words and shit. Hey, don't breathe underwater. Like babies and shit, they just won't breathe underwater. It's part of biology. That's how it is for smash players and me gunner. Okay, uh, I continue. But if you play that one setup with Gunner, you literally are only trying to make your opponent not have fun. Bingo. You literally are playing the game for the sole purpose of sucking, and soul, you spelled it wrong, uh, of sucking the fun out of someone else's experience. High key, me Gunner is the penultimate yourself character. And there you have it, Moon Lady. Now, my, my biggest question is, my biggest question, how come she's not being canceled, okay? Why is this person, Moon Lady, not being canceled? All right. When I said it once last night, I said, hang yourself as a joke. Like the joke is that I'm repeating what other people have said to me. And that is why people in my chat laugh at it. They're not like, aha, I agree. Like, yeah, they should end them. No, like the, the joke is I'm making fun of them by repeating them. Like that guy who was like, I'm not a bad guy, but if I was a bad guy, I'd say that I hope this guy uh, uh, fails in life and he has no friends. And uh, remember that guy? Now, when I say that back to my chat as a joke, when someone comes in and I'm like, yo, 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 if I was a bad guy, ha ha ha, but I'm not a bad guy. So I'm not going to say that. You get it? When I'm saying it back, that's the joke. Same thing I'm doing with shit like this. However, let's just say for the moment that I wasn't joking and I did say it like in a serious tone. Why are all these people all the time on Twitter saying, oh my God, y'all are defending him when he's so toxic. But there's people literally like this, like this is one of thousands, Twitter, Reddit, uh, this discord server, probably Instagram feeds and shit full of this garbage. And also it's like, why can these people openly and freely say things like this in a discord with t like 27,000 people in it? Basically a whole discord server dedicated to people being so mad at Smash that they tell each other to kill themselves. But here's just one of them, one of many, dropping KYS bombs in front of plenty of people and nothing will happen to them, nothing. But I say it like as a joke and completely out of context from like five seconds of my stream, not even in the full context, like uh, as a joke, but out of context, that's how Twitch clips are sometimes. And people take it as if it was serious and then start a Twitter petition to, to like try to cancel me. Actually, it's even dumber than that because I wasn't even cancel attempted for that kind of toxicity. I was legit canceled for calling that loser player one time. I called him boring and then blocked him because his connection was ass. I said his connection was terrible and I didn't want to run into him again. So I was like, yeah, I don't want to run into this guy again because the connection was so shit. So I blocked him. So th that's what I was canceled for. But again, here's the KYS bombs being dropped in front of 27,000 people in a public discord. Where's their uh, Twitter petition? Where's their cancellation, huh? But n none of these people get like Twitter petition canceled. Nah, nah. And, and you smashers wonder why any people don't take you seriously. This is why. Uh, people stay getting mad at the players and it's like hasn't it occurred to you people yet that the game is just bad and unbalanced and just get over it by now like i keep saying i learned the hard way that this game is terrible and unbalanced and not fun as i always say too i always like to give an example i used to be a very good zelda player but try being a try being a legitimate zelda player and trying to play a Steve who just keeps running away and placing blocks and shit. That's like the only example I could give because Zelda's the only character I used to play. But it's like, it's so true. It's like, stop, stop hating on every player because you can't adapt or whatever the fuck you want to say. Just straight up accept that your game is bad. And when you lose, just say, yeah, this game is bad. Maybe I'll just choose a better character. Like this King K. rule. Now listen, I want to end this by saying I obviously understand why people play different characters. A pretty good analogy, I guess, one time. Like, it makes kind of sense. When I said, yo, why would you play somebody like, say, Bowser or King K. Rool or whatever, uh, and not play just me Gunner when you know, like, 
that that's just a superior character, right? He was like, why don't you just play the, you know, why do people not just play the flute or something instead of playing like a 10 string guitar or like a six string bass? Obviously a little flute is easier. Although that could be, that is kind of an arbitrary analogy and not the best analogy, but he's got a point. Now look, my, my point is that I get it. I get it. King K. Rule is kind of fun. Maybe it's satisfying to get a spike with his down air. Maybe it's funny to reflect shit with his belly. I get it, okay? But you can't be hyper competitive with the character and all like the the problem isn't the hypocrisy. The problem is not with the character being your choice. The character is you chose that character, but then you complain afterwards. The hypocrisy is the problem. You can't have it both ways. You can't be like Yo, uh, me gunner's so annoying and, and you suck because like all you did was spam. You can't use that excuse when you chose that character. Like, uh, like King K. Rule. I hope you people understand. Like, play the character that you think is fun, but then don't be hyper competitive about it and get mad when you lose with it. Same thing with any other inferior character. Marth, Lucina. I mean, uh, there's like 87 characters in this game or whatever. They're all inferior to me gunner. So I could use any example there. There you have it. Play your character, play your play your top tier character, play your, you know, for funsies heavy character that doesn't do so well. Play play your range character, Min Min who can't projectiles can't be reflected. Play play them all. But then don't be mad after you get greased. That's not the right word. After you get fucking after you get hit on by me gunner. Okay? God, I'm so sorry. I don't even really know what the low tiers are in this game. You know? If I could guess, I would say, I don't know, Luigi, because he's slow or whatever. But I'm past that stage. I am absolutely 100% past it. I've learned the hard way. I've been playing Smash since 64. I played not competitively, but I played uh, four competitively, and this game competitively only early on. And I've I've learned it. I learned the hard way. Okay. Oh yeah, Ganon. Ganon's pretty bad. Lucario is pretty bad, right? But if you get Lucario to like 160%, he can kill you with one side B. Oh, sh we got a Rage Quitter. You know what else? Uh, before I ended my stream last night, I watched a little bit of Smash Rage compilations. I tried to find the more recent ones because there's like a bunch of them from a year ago. Uh, and you know what? That Hungry Box guy, there is a billion clips of people rage quitting against him or whatever, uh, rage quit against him. And people talk about that shit like it's the funniest thing in the world. Like, oh my god, I've never seen that. Like, somebody getting so mad at the game that they don't want to play anymore. Come to my stream. Come to my stream and watch me play in any arena or in Elite Smash for 15 minutes. You'll catch three rage quits within that time span. It's all it takes. For all you people who think rage quitters are, are like, hilarious to watch because for whatever reason. Ha ha ha, he rage quit against Hungry Box. Ha ha ha, great clip. You think that's funny? <laughs> Try watching every single person rage quit against me in the span of 20 minutes, 15 minutes even. You like to watch people rage quit? This is the fucking stream for you, buddy. It happens so often. I would say at least every three games, and I'm not exaggerating. It's it's every three games or even games like back to back. So it's like either every, basically either every single game for a while or there may be people in between that don't rage quit, but eventually, very shortly after, I will run into another rage quitter. Which is why, by the way, I don't have the highest GSP on the planet. Because if people didn't rage quit against me all the time, basically 66% of the games that I, I'm about to win, people rage quit, <laughs> and I don't get the points for them, I would have the- I would have like a million more points than I do.